watching a master at work. Okay, so today I am fixing a coolant leak. I just took off the lower radiator hose. It's leaking from that seal. I think it might be the gasket because obviously the thermostat's supposed to hold pressure off it. And it's cold and it's still leaking the coolant from the engine. So I think that gasket in there is bad. So I'm going to try and replace it. I didn't replace it when I rebuilt the everything so I should have probably did that. But Also, uh, I'm doing this catch can. I have two of them. I got another one in the mail. Uh, this is an air oil separator. Uh, you can see it's got the little drain cock on the bottom. Just gate valve right there or whatever. And the, the 290s. I gotta get some hose for this to go into here, the bottom, and then the top to go into the intake of the turbo, and then obviously get the uh, this giant fitting welded on here for the idle air control valve. The other catch can I'm going to do is going to go on this PCV right here. So I'm going to take this, that's a check valve, and go to the front maybe and have it mounted right here or something. And then the other top go back up to the intake manifold stream right there. Just to alleviate uh, the dilution of the uh, fuel octane and the get gumming up the intake and stuff since I'm using 91, but uh, pretty cool. Things coming together, got to get ready for round two. Vegas Drift Pro-Am, got all the tires, might have to buy some more, got my other 1J in for this bad boy, except for with this thing I gotta buy a non-immobilized ECU, so gotta figure out how to find one of those, they're pretty difficult to track down I found, so got that in for that guy, and now it's just time to get all this stuff squared away here and get it all pumped, put up, fixed, squared, going for uh, everything going on here, so. Alright, so today, I'm gonna take apart uh, some stuff on this 1J here. So I'm gonna take this tranny off, uh, put the future fab downpipe on, uh, kinda clean it up a little bit. I think I'm gonna delete all this throttle body stuff because I just can't find an ECU that's uh, not immobilized. So I got the clutch over here, the competition stage four, with the flywheel, all the spare JZ parts over here. Clean up the garage a little bit. Got the W58 tranny, all squared away with the shifter. Need to put fluid in it, the wiring, fans, mounts, shit like that. So, drive shaft, I'm gonna try and get all this a, li a little bit better. Also, uh, today I got in my trailer straps. Big heavy duty 2,000 pound a piece straps and then the LED wiring kit for the inside of my trailer. Uh, so I'm going to get all that squared away. Try and install that either today or tomorrow. I've got a few more days here. i got got uh, some fuel jugs coming in. So those should be in today. Also ordered a pro car seat from Summit for the 240 for uh, just Pro-Am. It's an FIA seat so... Uh, I can take uh, some people for ride-alongs and have them be safe and stuff uh, so that'll come in. Got all my stuff pretty much squared away here and it's getting pretty pretty close so get it all squared away here. Alright so for all you guys who like to look balling on a budget like me and don't want to spend a bunch of money to do it but still look legit you can use my information or experiences to do that exact thing. So I got some packages in here just a couple seconds ago while I'm working on the 1J cleaning up the garage and stuff. And oh no, what do we have here? Some Sunoco, of course, bright retina burning orange just like my car to match it. Some five gallon race jugs for fuel with a tube and two of these. And some of you might be like, oh, that's Sunoco, it's expensive. But guess what? This is on eBay. $60 shipped for both of these. Um, I also got a Bob's Oil catch can. It's the same one as this one that I put on. That was 80 or 100 bucks on sale. Comes with the fittings. So I'm plumbing it currently. I did the 
plumbing to here. I just have to get Trevor to weld on a fitting for that. So there's that. But uh, a lot of this stuff is very, very affordable, especially if you have a regular job. Like, I don't make a lot of money, but I'm not, you know, I'm not poor, so. But I do have to pay for my house and stuff, so I, I definitely rely heavily on deals and bargains. So I definitely do that. And uh, what better way to help others out that are doing the same thing or wanting to do the same thing by showing them, you know, some deals to get. So uh, this engine, I actually bought on PayPal credit, so some of the guys are like, oh geez, what are you stocking up for the winter? I was like, no, I just need to get this car put back together and sell it and, or keep it or whatever because it's just sitting here wasting away and there's no reason for it to do that. It's too beautiful of a car. So uh, yeah, that's PayPal credit. I paid $16.80 for it, uh, but I got the transmission issues, stuff like that. Got, it's an auto, got to get a manual, which I luckily had for my other car, so that's just a hookup again. Um, Got to get an ECU and a harness and all that stuff. So I'm thinking maybe if I have enough PayPal credit, I can buy a wiring specialties harness and a or a, wire, a wiring specialties harness and a hall tech so I can take the harness off of this and the ECU off of this and throw it on that and then just put it in there, just repurposing and stuff like that. But uh, I don't know. I have to figure that all out. So. So to get this all off, you got to take off these stupid motor mount bolts. I don't know if you can see them. There's four. I'm pretty sure you have to remove the turbo drain to get through this one, but uh, let me I'll mess with it and see. Uh, I don't remember taking it off. Uh, I know it was a bitch though, so I'll, I'll take all that off. But these motor mounts, they come on here. Pain in the ass, got to take them off. Uh, this is the first one that I got with a tranny on it, so... Normally the importer will do all this work for me, but... I'm going to take this off on each side, uh, and then I'll show you the other side when I'm done. Parts, the exhaust, downpipe, stuff like that to get to these motor mounts. This one is a bitch, so you have to take off the turbo feed and return. And make sure it's a 14 six point. If you use multi-point, it will strip. That's what, that one, that's what I did on that one. This side, you have to take off these stupid giant ass engine mounts that are a pain to get to, and the AC compressor. So you take the three bolts off the AC compressor to get that off. Take this big bolt out of the oil filter housing to get this to move along so you can access these four bolts. Um, while you're doing that, you can just order the O-ring and replace that. Just good to do while it's off. And then you put on the excessive mounts. And then what I do is I gut the AC compressor, take off all the BS, the pulleys, all that, and use the housing to put back on here for power steering pump and belt reinforcement because a lot of people spin belts with that stupid relocated bracket and excessive tensioner bracket and blah 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 like not worth using that shit so just use the factory stuff been running the factory setup on here for a while you can see it's just gutted I have not spun one belt and I have not had any power steering issues so whatever works works so we'll just do that. Let me get the excessive mounts out here. Start trying to put them on the car. And here we go. Okay, so as you can see here, uh, all right, there we go. So you tighten those as hard as you can. It's got the adjustment slide and all that, and then just put this back on. All right, so as you can see, I got the auto tranny off. Got to take all the bolts and stuff off. 
But uh, this torque converter is going to be a bitch because I'm pretty sure you have to pull. Oh, where's it at? This inspection cover off to get to the bolts to pull it off. And uh, torque converters always have fluid and stuff in them. But uh, this engine looks okay. It just looks like it came out of a used car. Nothing major. No broken parts or anything. So uh, we'll see what what it looks like. Alright, so I got the uh, torque converter off. Piece of shit. A lot of prying and stuff, but here's the flex plate. It looks kind of like it was sitting on a boat or something, splashing around in the water. So it's definitely used, but uh, we'll get it all cleaned up. I'm going to take these bolts off and see what the rear main looks like, because I need, need to get the flywheel on anyways. So we'll see how that works. Alright, so here's some information that's going to make your life easier. This Bando belt, part number 6BK1890B, or the KO, whatever supplement, depending on what auto parts store you go to, that is for the AC delete. So the belt's like 8 bucks. Also, this will save you a lot of trouble. It's 80 bucks, but it's from Drift Motion. That's a Jay-Z power steering conversion line to S13. Just buy it. It's not worth it going to an exhaust, or a hydraulic chop and getting the fittings made and trying to figure out the thread pitch or going on the forums and trying to figure out what it is but that's what that is so if you do that that'll be a lot easier to put together so yeah so right now I'm gonna go to the store I got my new straps and stuff but uh, I got this wiring here for my LED truck light that I'm putting in my trailer so I need to get a longer set of bolts like this so I'm gonna go do that real quick um, I'll come back to all this, uh, the thing I forgot to get is a W58 pilot bearing, so I need to get one of those to put this on, otherwise the channy and stuff would be on. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna do that. Alright, so I'm also doing some trailer stuff. I bought this eBay $30 light. That's this spot, spot flood whatever combo. So, uh, this thing doesn't have any lights. You got the chill LED ones in here where you can just like passively like if you you know got a headache or something, it's pretty relaxing. So I wired this up, put the relay up here, I'm just kind of ghetto rigged a button with the battery. The button's over there. So I can just go up behind there and push it. Toop! And then uh drill the hole through the top of the trailer, put bolts in the cross beam. The cool thing about this is it flips this way and then also when the door is down I can flip it you know hold on here, here we go I'll flip it this way out so I can have like a pit to work on stuff so I think that's dope so here I'll flip it around and uh, let's see here I'll just do like that I've got this wired up to a relay here real quick so here's when I connect it You see obviously right here. I mean it definitely has some pretty damn good light. I mean geez. It's blinding almost. It's like a little 30 e $30 eBay light. Like how dope is that? I think it's like a four inch or seven inch, one of the two. But uh, obviously get this all squared away a little bit better. Not as ghetto. I gotta figure out where to put this battery because I definitely need a battery in here, but I gotta secure it so when it's the trailer's moving and shit, it's not gonna flop all over the place or whatever. But yeah, 